Hey guys, it's LBS here again, your tech guide. So I just received my sun hood for the small HD focus monitor. Um, here it is. This is pretty much what the package comes with. So let's open this up. We're gonna, and then we're gonna try to mount it on this on the monitor and see what it looks like. So here we go. Let's grab my razor blade. So right now I'm actually using the Sigma. The brand new Sigma 16mm f1.4. Um, this is pretty much what the footage looks like. Um, so far, I am quite impressed. The autofocus is quite fast. It seems like it is a little bit, uh, somewhat a little bit much faster than the Sigma 30mm. Uh, so let's open this up. The lens the monitor hood and see what it looks like. Okay, so we've got some paper wrap here. And here it is, guys. There it is. Oh, wow. Very nice. Okay, so it is very light. It's got that suede texture feel to it. And this thing, it looks like you just snap on to the monitor it'll just snap on nice and easy there and uh, this is how much the distance how much length you could get out of this from the lens hood um, the thing that I'm a bit worried is that since the focus has that mounting um, that rotates um, when you are doing the front-facing camera this thing, when you ro rotate the monitor, this thing will be upside down. So you won't have that benefit of having the long side of the sun hood when you rotate your monitor. So that's a bit of a, a bummer if you are doing a vlogging um, kind of style of video. So it's either you want to have it stationary in one spot or you want it the other way around like the vlogging angle so I wish they could have put one down here I'll just kind of match it for the bottom so that if you do flip it you'll still have that sun sun hood but anyways let's uh, mount this on the monitor I'm actually using it right now so I'm gonna take it off from my camera and show you guys what it looks like. So here we go, guys. All right, so here is my monitor. It's a bit dirty, but that's okay. So let's try to install this lens, not lens, monitor hood. So it should just snap in there, like so. Let me see. Should just snap in. See the brat, the groove right here. There's a groove, so it should just click in nicely there. Like so. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. That's what it looks like. So I'll test this out when it's nice and sunny outside and I'll do my um, and I'll give you guys my final uh, my conclusion and what I think about this uh, monitor hood all right so if you have any other questions or anything like that just leave me a comment down below so this is what I meant when you do um, when you rotate the camera the monitor I mean so if, for example if you are using the vlogging kind of style you want to see yourself if you are in frame so what what it's going to happen is you flip this monitor and this is what's going to happen so there will be no protection no hood whatsoever if you're going to do a vlogging kind of style of a camera uh, vlogging kind of uh, video this is what's going to happen so it's either you want to set your um you know you, you pretty much want to know what kind of video you're gonna do if you're just gonna do vlogging you better want to set this monitor hood the proper way instead of having the other way so that you don't have to 
you know keep removing this and taking it off but I just wish the extended the bottom part right here just a little bit longer so that it is flexible that we could um, rotate it flexible and so on and when it comes to touching it's pretty good it's not gonna render the touching the monitor here with this lens hood the, why do I keep saying lens hood monitor hood so it's quite easy it's not gonna render like I said so I think they could have extended it out and you could still press the, the screen see as you can see right here I'm still able to navigate with my finger even though this thing is extended out but anyways I'll, I'll go outside I'll wait until we have nice weather out because right now we've been getting a lot of rain so I could um, test this out and see if it actually works and if the monitor if I could be able to see the monitor um, again so before when I didn't have this lens hood it was kind of pain to ask to uh, to view myself um, no matter what how it's got a what 800 nits on the screen display when you're outdoor <laughs> it's still hard to see guys you definitely need a lens um, a monitor hood so yep I'll do a follow-up video on this and keep you guys updated on what I think about this lens hood so that's pretty much it guys once again thank you for watching until then I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.